<laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hialeah Racing Report. As you can see, the kids showed up to see the Easter Bunny this afternoon. Let's get to all the racing action. A beautiful day here in South Florida. Sunny skies. It was a bit warm. The main track fast. Turf course firm. No rail on the turf again today. The opener, a maiden claimer, claiming price $25,000. The favorite is Real Country at three to five. And they're off. Chin Chin was off a step slowly. Mecky Mouse flew out of the gate. He's going very wide into the turn. Real Country has speed as well. Between them, it's Judas Jester in third. Down at the rail, Small Bat Slew is in fourth. Chin Chin is now rushing up to take second. Judas Jester is now two and a half lengths off the lead. And then it is a big gap back to Senor Valverde. And pulling out of the race, number two, Devious Dixie. Number two, Devious Dixie has been pulled up early. The pace is fast. It's real country, leading it by three quarters of a length. Mecky Mouse to the outside in second, and Chin Chin is racing in between them. Then it's Judas Jester in fourth, about four lengths off the lead. Small Bat Slew is down at the rail, racing five clear of Senor Valverde. Past the 5 eighths, and it's real country, leading it by a length and three quarters. Chin Chin is in second, Mecky Mouse third. Small Bat Slew is on the inside of Judas Jester. That pack is covered by two and a half lengths. Then it's a big gap to Senor Valverde. Into the turn, and real country starts to shake loose now, leading it by three. Chin Chin is a clear second. Judas Jester moving into third. Small Bat Slew is hard ridden, not responding. Mecky Mouse has had enough. Senor Valverde is starting to pick it up. He just went by those two with a quarter of a mile to go. Real country by three and a half. Chin Chin is in second. The whip's out on Judas Jester in third. Then it's Senor Valverde. Three sixteenths to go. Real country in command by five lengths. Chin Chin is trying to hold on to second. Then it's Senor Valverde on the inside of Judas Jester, but they're battling for the minor awards here as real country has completely outclassed the competition. Real Country wins it by about a dozen. Second to Chin Chin. Good battle for third. Photo for third goes to Judas Jester over Senor Valverde. Real Country finished a very good second when making his Hialeah debut last time out. Graduates in career start number nine for trainer Gerald Pacino and owner Sidney Sachs. Horacio Caramanos gets another win. Chin Chin completes the exacta. Judith's Jester ran third. On to race number two. This, a maiden claimer, claiming price $12,500. The favorite is Miss Education. And they're off. Very awkward beginning for Never Timid at the back of the pack. It's Carson City, Madame, and Miss Education. The first two out bodies has good early speed, and Quick Fit comes away racing in fourth. Dolly Extreme outside, and Tactical Tracy is down at the rail. They're followed by Roses from Dora, about seven lengths off the lead. Never Timid is next, and Noble Wolf is the trailer. Down the back stretch, and it's Carson City, Madame, leading it by two lengths to Miss Education in second. Body eases down at the rail, racing in third. Tactical Tracy eager to run in the clear on the outside, fourth. Then it's Roses from Dora in fifth position, four lengths off the lead. Quick Fit is next, one length in front of Dolly. They're followed by Never Timid and Noble Wolf. Less than three-eighths of a mile to travel now, and it's Carson City, Madame, leading it by three-quarters of a length. Miss Education is in second. Tactical Tracy on the outside of Roses from Dora, joint third. Down at the rail, it's Body Ease in fifth. Quick Fit is better than ten lengths off the lead. Then Dolly with a quarter of a mile to go. Miss Education on the outside takes a short lead. Carson City, Madame is trying to counter in second. Tactical Tracy getting closer from third, followed by Roses from Dora and Body Ease. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Carson City, Madame has something left on the inside of Miss Education. Tactical Tracy, two lengths back in third. Then it's Body Ease, 16th pole. Carson City, Madame and Miss Education. Carson City, Madame gets the job done. Tight photo for second. Tactical Tracy got up for second over Miss Education. Body Ease ran for it. Another drop in class for Carson City, Madame, and she gets it done today for trainer Randy Mills and owner Shirley Sucker, the winning jockey, Jose Rivera II. Tactical Tracy finished second, and we'll be right back. There's a thousand reasons to be in Ocala beginning Monday, April 23rd. It's the sale where you can buy top-class fillies like the grade one stakes winner, Heritage of Gold. Like the grade one stakes
big winner, plenty of life. She will bring the upset to take the three chimney spinster. These and other great stakes winners could have been yours for the bidding. Check it out on the internet. Go to obssales.com and then be in Ocala starting Monday, April 23rd. Team Battle Horses have won nearly 100 stakes since 1987, including Grade 1 winners Captain Bodgett, Star of Cuisine, Prize, Martial Law, Political Ambition, and Santa Anita Derby winner The Deputy. The latest star for Team Valor is Golden Ballet, who became only the second three-year-old filly to sweep the Santa Inez Stakes, the Las Virginis, and the Santa Anita Oaks. For more information, contact Team Valor at 859-879-0696. Today's third, a maiden claimer, claiming price $35,000. These are three-year-old fillies. Here's an impression of Trevor Denman. Penthouse Suite going in, and it will be set. There's the roar from the crowd. The field of maiden claimers sent on their way to a perfect start. John's Ruckus was very fast into stride. Amarada Gold up alongside in second, and here's Brunswick Bell in the orange cap third. Luvina is scraping the paint in fourth, four lengths off this leader. Please don't shoot is outside of that. And Penthouse Suite now moving up between those two, only four lengths off this leader. They head to the 7 8th pole, and now it's Amarata Gold leading them a length and a half. Brunswick Bell on the outside taking that second spot, and John's Ruckus in third. Please don't shoot is fourth, only two lengths off this leader. Penthouse Suite on a tight hold between those two. And Luvina's at the back, six lengths, covers the entire field. They head to the half-mile pole in Amarato Gold. Nice and relaxed out there. She's getting some pressure from her entry mate, Brunswick Bell. And the John Franks colors kick on with it, leading it by two. Here's John's Ruckus down at the rail in third. And Penthouse Sweet has now let loose fourth, three lengths off this leader. Please don't shoot is being hard ridden now. And Luvina is last. Past the three-eighths they go, and Brunswick Bell can wait no more. She's got those ears cocked, saying, let me loose. I want to strut my stuff out here. Jose Rivera obliges, and Brunswick Bell opens up to lead it by three. John's Ruck is in second on the grandstand side. It's Penthouse Sweet. Amarada Gold can find no more. They come to the eighth pole, and it's Brunswick Bell by three. John's Ruck is giving a game chase in second, and Penthouse Sweet in third. But the daughter of Brunswick, Brunswick Bell, is turning in a scintillating run here. Brunswick Bell annihilates him, wins a good seven. John's Ruck is second, Penthouse Sweet third, and please don't shoot was four. Kathleen O'Connell is on fire. She won three straight yesterday. Gets the first-time starter, Brunswick Bell, into the winner's circle in the colors of John Franks. Jose Rivera the second gets back-to-back -back winners. On to race number four at six furlongs, a claiming event, claiming prize $12,500. All set. And they're off. Quick beginning for Pariente Barbara and Diablo's Angel. There goes You Are Able, fastest of them all. And from the outside, Wavering Marcy showing good early speed as well, as is Twilight Mirage, who moves up to take third. Honey Pot is settled in mid-pack, four lengths off the lead. Empress Anja is next. And High Style, who didn't have the smoothest of beginnings, is the trailer. Down the back stretch, and it's Wavering Marcy on the outside by a neck to You Are Able. Twilight Mirage, three wide and moving in now. Honey Pot is in four, two and a half lengths off the lead. Then it's Diablo's Angel racing in fifth position. A length and a half in front of Empress Anja outside Pariente Barbara. And then it's High Style. Approaching the quarter pole, Twilight Mirage takes the lead. Immediately tackled by Honey Pot. Those two at the quarter pole together. They've left Wavering Marcy and You Are Able behind. Top of the lane, and on the outside, Honey Pot now takes the lead. Twilight Mirage is back to second. Two and a half lengths more back to Diablo's Angel in third. Followed at the rail by Wavery Marcy. Then it's Empress Anja in the center of the track. But it's all over here as Honey Pot is making short work of it. Honey Pot pouring it on through the lane. Honey Pot wins it by about eight. Second to Twilight Mirage. Third, Empress Anja. Fourth went to Diablo's Angel in a photo. Robert Levine is winning at a 50% clip. Honeypot gets her second straight win for owners Levine and Bronsdorf. Charlene Hunt was in the irons this afternoon. Twilight Mirage finished second. On to race five, a claimer, claiming price $8,000.
the co-favorites Oil City and Naughty Alex. Here's an impression combination. Five. And the flag is up. There, off and running. It's a rocket start for Magic Michael. Up the inside, it's Oil City. And now War, what is it good for? Up to take the lead. Better World in fourth. Naughty Alex, three off the pace in fifth. And five farther back to Gabrielle's wings. Up the back stretch they go. War, what is it good for? The neck in front now. Better World is up to second. Two farther back to Naughty Alex in third. Then it's Oil City, five off the pace in fourth. Magic Michael, fifth. At Gabrielle's wigs, 22 and 3 for the quarter. Thank you, Luke. Around the turn they go. And oh, what a move by Naughty Alex on the outside. It is Naughty Alex taking the lead. Bet a whirl in second. Rodney Dangerfield is with us. Rodney, why are you not calling the race? Yeah, I tell you, even I need to get egg on my face. Yeah, they don't want me to call races anymore. Turning for home now, it's Naughty Alex opening up by two. And Dave Johnson to bring him home. Had down the stretch they come! Naughty Alex, but here comes Oil City on the outside! And it's the two favorites in front! Naughty Alex by two! Oil City coming on! Oil City, Naughty Alex, those two noses apart! It's too close to call! Better World was third and Magic Michael was fourth! Luke Kripos, Dangerfield, Dave Johnson, and Marv Albert. Oil City gets up in the final stride under Eduardo Nunez for the A&P Racing Stable Incorporated. Alex Prado, the winning conditioner. Naughty Alex loses a heartbreaker. On to race number six. This, a claimer at a mile and a 16th. Claiming price, $16,000. All set. And they're off. From the inside, Canadeed and Apple Crumbler, the first two out of the gate. Sultry Shadow has good early speed as well. And just behind them, it's Gone North and Popcorn Crystal fifth, but just three lengths off the lead. Zippity Zack is next, and the early trailer is highly acclaimed. Eight lengths covers the field as they round the first turn, and it's Apple Crumble leading it by a length and a half. Canadeed is in second, Sultry Shadow a close-up third. Gone North and Popcorn Crystal are both eager to run fourth and fifth, but only two lengths off the lead. Then it's Zippity Zack settled in the clear, four off the pace, and highly acclaimed is the trailer. Straightening away for the run down the backstretch, and it's Apple Crumble leading it by three quarters to Sultry Shadow in second. Down at the rail, Canadeed, Gone North is in between horses, and Popcorn Crystal is now moving up. There goes Popcorn Crystal along with Zippity Zack. Two and a half lengths covers all of those six, and highly acclaimed is at the back of a compact field. There's a half mile left to go. Apple Crumble and Sultry Shadow. They start to sprint into the turn now. Popcorn Crystal is a half length back and moving in from third. Zippity Zack to Zack to pick it up in fourth. Then it's highly acclaimed in fifth and moving up now. There goes highly acclaimed taking fourth on the inside. Gone North is dropping back and Kennedy is now the trailer with a quarter of a mile to go. Popcorn Crystal on the outside. Sultry shadow between them and a tough apple crumble still has something left down at the rail. Two legs back to highly acclaimed in fourth. There's an eighth of a mile to go and apple crumble sprints away now to lead it by two. Sultry shadow is in second. On the outside it's highly acclaimed in third. Then it's Zippity Zack and Popcorn Crystal. A huge performance out of apple crumble who takes them coast to coast. Tight photo for second goes to sultry shadow over highly acclaimed. It's another photo between Zippity Zack and Gone North for fourth. Apple Crumble turns it around big time in his second U.S. start. That's our Jockey of the Week, Renee Douglas, making the presentation. Apple Crumble, owned by the La Quebrada Farm, trained by Domingo Pascual. Manny Aguilar was aboard. <laughs>